My dear friends, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone, all the mothers. So I wanted to share this beautiful joy with you. This is what my son sent me as a surprise. Today I received it this morning. Look, look how beautiful this is. Happy Mother's Day, Amma. Love, Naveen. Look at this beautiful bouquet of flowers made of chocolate. And this beautiful little card with a lovely message in it. So this is the message that I received from my son. Okay. Dear Amma, thank you for always being that beacon of light, always shining through no matter the storm that you are going through. You are and will always be my greatest inspiration and source of strength in this life and many lives to come. Love, Naveen. <laughs> that was my Mother's Day and I hope all of you beautiful mothers also had a lovely Mother's Day today. Wishing you all from my heart a great memorable Mother's Day again. So Mishti Doi is actually a traditional dessert from West Bengal. So Calcutta, all these places, this is a dessert. It's a simple sweet curd. Mishti means sweet. Doi means yogurt. So it's just sweet yogurt. It's got a little thicker film on top of it, which is more creamier. And it's such a beautiful dessert, you know. With Mishti Doi, the story is that my parents were living in Assam, which is beyond Calcutta and West Bengal, that we have to pass through Calcutta every time we go there. So then the Calcutta sweets and dishes and desserts became our favorite. So that's how we are connected to these desserts of West Bengal. And uh, Mishti Doi is my favorite, my son's favorite, and my mom's favorite, and my sister's, brother's, everybody's favorite. My dad too, all of us like it. So try this at home and let us know how did it go. So the ingredients for Mishti Doi, we have um, five to eight green cardamoms which will be powdered finely and then this is light and creamy evaporated milk that's around 375 ml we have one liter of milk okay and we have condensed milk which is also around 395 grams it says okay so that's one tin i forgot to mention we do need 100 grams of plain yogurt so that's it for mishti doi we're going to cook it now I have just used the seeds of those cardamoms. I put some sugar with it and then it was easier to powder them finely manually, okay? So I'm boiling the whole cream milk. So now that's starting to boil. So I'm going to add the condensed milk and the evaporated milk as well. Now you allow this to slowly boil. We don't add any more extra sugar or anything into this. It's just the sweetness of the condensed milk. So I'm just letting it boil mildly. Just keep stirring it. So reduce the flame. And now I'm just going to add in the cardamoms that was powdered. It's better to make it into a liquid and then put it because of it's going to cluster up there. So it's on simmer, keep stirring it for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it aside to cool down. It shouldn't get too cold, but it should be just, just very, very, very lightly warm. And that's when I'm gonna add the 100 grams of the yogurt. So make sure you blend it in without lumps, which means you pour in a bit of this mix into the bowl of yogurt and then you mix it up with this so that there's no lumps in this mixture and then after that we leave it in the uh, oven space that will stay kind of lightly warm all night until the 
this becomes yogurt it sets as yogurt okay so i think now it's cooled down to a so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to dilute this yogurt a bit so that you see that i'm just trying to get rid of the lumps in the yogurt so that will be a much smoother mixture to be added i'm going to add this mixture to this here we go keep stirring it and keep adding it So now this is mixed well. Now I'm going to pour this. So you can choose to pour it into little clay pot containers if you have, that's ideal to set them to become yogurt or you can put it in a dish like I'm doing it. But it has to be airtight when you actually put it to the setting state. After it sets overnight, tomorrow you take it and put it in the fridge. So all this time it's good to have it sealed. So if you don't have uh, little containers with the clay pot, pottery containers with the uh, lids, you can just glad wrap it, okay? So here what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some into a container with a lid and then the rest I'm going to put it into little porcelain bowls and leave it for setting overnight, okay? So as I said before, the oven is to be switched off. It's not going to be on at all. Whatever warmth is in there is enough. It shouldn't be too hot either inside that, okay? it's cooled down and I'm going to put the lid on the leftover amount I'm just going to put it into these little porcelain bowls so here we go that is sealed and this is sealed and we're going to leave it in the oven as I said and we'll wait till tomorrow and so once it sets we put it in the fridge That'll be tomorrow morning. I put it in the fridge and by afternoon we can have it as dessert. So the Mishti Doi looks so amazing. It is set well and beautiful. Let's try this one. See how that cuts in? Wow, it's just beautiful. See? It's just so amazing. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. So Doi is my son's favorite. So he was coming home and he said, Amma, I love Mishri Doi. Can you make some for me? So I made some Mishri Doi. So that's his favorite. Wait till he tastes this and let's see what he has to say, okay? This is his Mother's Day special that I made for him. Here you go. Okay. That's good. It's really good. It tastes like just the ones at home. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Is that the taste you were wanting? Huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Did you like it? Or whatever comments, leave us some comments, okay? <laughs> See you later. Bye.